At this time, kids can join me on the screen for our children's moment. If your child cannot join the Zoom call, you can access the recorded worship service at any time that works for your family. Kids, if you're here, feel free to say hi by typing or putting an emoji in the chat box. Hi, Cami. It's good to have you here. Cami, you can say hi if you want to unmute yourself. Hi. Or, hi. <laughs> you did a great job reading today, Cami. How long have you been learning Spanish? Uh, since preschool. Yeah, since preschool. Five years, six years. Wow, <laughs> that's a really long time. That's awesome. I love languages. Well, I'm really glad that you're here. And we just heard and read some scripture from Acts 2 and from 1 Peter 2. Acts 2 talks a lot about the Holy Spirit, but what is the Holy Spirit? Kimmy, do you have any idea what the Holy Spirit is or what they might be like? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did they know? Or what's your idea? I don't know. <laughs> It's okay if you don't know. One way I like to think about the Holy Spirit is by thinking about the wind. In Acts 2, it says that the Holy Spirit is like a strong wind. It comes and goes, but you never actually see the wind itself. We see the wind's effects when the branches move and when the wind causes the leaves to blow. We even breathe the wind and the air in. It enters our bodies and it helps us to stay alive. The Holy Spirit is similar. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but we can see the Holy Spirit's impact on our lives and on other people's lives. The Holy Spirit is in each of us and guides us, just like how the wind guides the leaves through the air. So next time you feel the wind on your face, maybe you open your window and you feel a cool breeze, you can remember the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, it was good to see you today over Zoom, Cami. Let's close in prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for every child, teen, and family here at LUCC. We pray that all children will feel your love, your strength, and your endurance. We pray that we can see more of your work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Finally, God, we pray for the continued safety of our children and teens. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.